basically where you meet us in this story, it really is the 11th hour. Um, the, the Kaiju War has been waging for about 20 years and we're, we're really starting to realize that we're losing it. Um, you know, every resource um, that Earth has to offer has been put into this um, Jaeger program to develop these monsters to fight the kaiju, but they just keep coming and coming and coming, and we can't keep up with it. We can't supply the, the demand for, for the robots. So we really, it's, it's kind of like the end of the world is nigh, and there are this last kind of beacon of hope of these four sets of Jaeger pilots. One of the challenges for Raleigh, who has lost his brother and lost his co-pilot and therefore been relegated to the sidelines, but he's a very, very good pilot. And then as the battle, you know, wages on and we keep losing pilots at, at such a rapid rate, he's brought out of retirement. And then the challenge is to find somebody that he would be compatible enough with that he would actually be able to pilot a Jaeger alongside. I mean, one of these beautiful... Um, very original ideas that have grown from this movie is the way the two pilots and the computer interact. Uh, the computer of the robot is through what we've come to call the drift, which is literally we get neurologically connected and then all of the information in her brain is accessible to me and vice versa. So it's literally like letting somebody inside your head where, who has access to all of your darkest, you know, secrets and most embarrassing memories and loveliest memories and everything that's in your head. And